So it is time to stop dressing in pajamas and leggings in this pregnancy. Like I'm getting a little tired of it. Granted, it has been comfortable. Sure, I haven't worn jeans since like early on in my first trimester because of the bloating. So I've been, you know, liking it to an extent, but I also really wanna feel like myself again and like wear some cute outfits every now and again. And I just don't know how to really dress my bump right now. Let's take a look at the bump, shall we? So this is a maternity top currently. Here's the big old bump that we got working with. Okay, this is eight months. My pants, these are uh, a size larger than I normally wear. I can wear them up here. Um, I prefer to wear them like below the belly and then just like a long shirt. So this has been kind of my uniform for a little bit, but I used to do fashion videos, obviously, if you've been around for a while and like thrifting videos and things like that. So I wanna do a styling video. This is a new body type I have to work with and I've never styled it before. I've never been this size before. So I wanna challenge myself to come up with some cute outfits that I can wear for the remainder of my pregnancy. I only have two more months to go and luckily it's fall. It's fall and winter that I'm dressing for. So if you're pregnant in summer, I can't, I can't help you out. Luckily I wasn't, you know, this big in summer. I think I would have died with the heat. So I am very grateful that I am eight months pregnant uh, in fall and like continuing the rest of my pregnancy throughout winter. Because let's be real, that's the best time to dress anyway. I can wear these long sleeves, you can layer up. So as you know, something that I've been passionate about for literal years on this channel, just in general, is sustainability. And I'm so excited that Native is sponsoring today's video because if you remember years ago, I did a whole video trying natural deodorants and Native was one of the winners. And I've been using Native for years. They're vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, all of that jazz. They're just such good deodorants. The texture has always been my favorite. It was a front runner, top winner of all of the deodorants that I've ever tried. I tried over 30. As you know, the video, you could go find it on my channel. The texture of Native is so phenomenal. It's not sticky, it dries quickly, it lasts all day long. And why I'm so excited to work with them now is because they have brand new plastic free packaging, which is so incredible. It of course uses the same formula as their regular deodorants, just with more sustainable packaging. Another thing that I absolutely love about Native is their range of scents. This is hands down my new favorite scent of anything. I have the body wash of this that I bought myself. I am obsessed. This is the lilac and white tea scent. Just go smell this, it is so good. I also have the eucalyptus and mint, which is the scent that my partner really enjoys. He has the body wash of this. And now we have the matching deodorant scent and then I also have the aloe and green tea which is part of their sensitive line so this is actually aluminum free and baking soda free they also do limited edition collections and right now they have the naughty and nice collection for the holidays and they have scents like spiked eggnog and candy cane which sound so good so three plastic free deodorants is usually $39 but if you go to the link down below and use my code sarah h3 you can get them for $26 that's 33% off also with my code you can get 20% off any toothpaste or body wash. Okay, let's get to styling. We're gonna move to my closet. And I thought as we go about this process, I would talk a little bit about body image in pregnancy and feeling like yourself and things like that as we go. So yeah, let's head to the closet. So the lighting, obviously great. Uh, audio quality, probably just dropped a little bit. Don't judge my closet right now because it is so unorganized. Uh, I thought about organizing it for the sake of this video. I'm not going to do that. So I wanted to pull a couple of things that I know for sure that I want to style into maternity outfits. They're not necessarily maternity clothes, but luckily I can still wear them kind of. So naturally self-expression when you're pregnant has to change a little bit and it might sound vain, but you still want to express yourself. And of course you're growing a human right so it's not <laughs> really about you anymore but we're allowed to still f want to feel like ourselves and feel really good about ourselves and especially in pregnancy because it's so difficult of a transition for so many reasons but a lot of people struggle with body image also in pregnancy and so dressing in a way that makes you feel really good, I think is really important and should be a priority. If it's not something that's important to you, that is totally fine. If you're just wearing your partner's clothes all the time, 
do you, you know? I respect that, I admire that. With the holidays coming up, I want to find some outfits that are, you know, holiday appropriate, family appropriate, and just like going to the store and like just feeling cool. I mean, this is the first time I'm ever going to be pregnant and I want to rock the belly a little bit, you know, style it a little bit and feel like myself. How many times am I going to say feel like myself in this video? I don't know. So firstly, I want to incorporate this dress. <laughs> I actually did wear this dress once already in pregnancy because it was literally the only thing clean that could fit in that moment that was family appropriate because we were going to the families so and it was summertime so I had to wear a dress <laughs> I'm not a fan of dresses even though that's like the priority or like the main thing that people wear in pregnancy but I'm gonna tell you right now only like two of these outfits are gonna have dresses in them okay I'm gonna wear pants <laughs> and they're not they're gonna be leggings probably or you know sweatpants or something but we're gonna have some pants on I'm not just gonna do dresses so this is actually a thrifted dress it's a vintage one, I'm gonna say from the 90s, and it's like the Southwest, <laughs> very much more summer appropriate. Um, it's like a midi length, but I want to style it in a way that works for fall and around my bump. So we'll see, I don't know if the top part's gonna fit. I have gained weight pretty much everywhere, so some tops and shirts aren't fitting. <laughs> yeah, so that's one thing I'm going to pull for sure. I'm thinking like a sweater over it. So I guess we'll just start with that outfit. Let's just style that dress. Oh, also I have bought some fast fashion here and there. So I have some sweaters. I feel like it's okay. And I've chosen to go easy on myself and be kind and forgive myself for buying fast fashion. It had been a minute since I had bought anything new, I'm not gonna lie. I know for sure I'm going to rock some Ragged Priest in this video, like this blue sweater I'll probably incorporate at some point in time. Ragged Priest is some of my favorite clothes. In fact, I'm gonna wear this sweater for sure in this video because I wanna create like an edgier outfit that I feel really good in. Like, look at this shirt. I bought this shirt since I've been pregnant and I love these shirts because I can wear them under things. Look at how gorgeous that is. And of course, it rides up my belly. It's t very tight, but if you wear it as an under piece for layering, it works perfect. I'm gonna pull that out. I also got this new dress from Disturbia. I thought it would be the perfect maternity dress. I might actually wear this for my baby shower that I'm having with friends in a couple days. Um, and wear this for that because it's gonna be really cold and this is like a flannel material that's a midi length I just thought it would look really good on my bump I'm not gonna wear it in this video but really cute dress okay so this dress has some really nice like red tones in it and I found this sweater that I've actually never worn yet but I did get this thrifting as well it's from Goodwill so what if I wore it over the dress that would be a cute outfit Maybe I could tuck it in somehow and like make this a little bit more cropped to go over my belly so my belly can be out and about in the dress. I think that would be really cute. And then I kind of have the perfect shoes for this outfit. So I thrifted these and I've only worn them the one time for my pearl costume. These are the shoes that I wore and I absolutely love them and they do fit currently. Luckily my feet haven't swollen up that much. So I think I'm going to wear these. They do have like some green tags and there's some greens in the dress. So this is going to be the first look. Let's go put it on. So let's break down this outfit a little bit. So first off, I did not know the sweater came straight from the 80s. Why are the sleeves so puffy when these are so tight? Didn't know that um, until I put it on. Never worn it before. But I do like the color combination. The color works perfectly with the dress, the dress actually has a tie around the waist. So I just like looped it, tied it in the back and tucked the sweater up underneath. Now life hack for if you're pregnant or even if it's winter time, you might gain some weight on your lower body. So, no, I'm not gonna flash you. Get some bike shorts that are maternity. So they go over the belly and they will save your life. Trust me, I cannot wear a dress without some long maternity biker shorts. They are essential. The shoes aren't that comfortable. I wish they were more comfortable. I'm now at the point where I cannot walk for longer than one hour if I'm not in comfortable shoes. So obviously that would depend on the event, but if I'm sitting a lot, this outfit works just fine. I love this dress so much for the bump. I love the Southwest vibes. 
And I do like the sweater, but I don't feel super confident in this because it just is kind of unflattering up here. I would probably go with a different sweater. In fact, let me go change my sweater because I have just the one in mind. Hold on a second. Okay, here is the same outfit with a green option. I love this green sweater. It's definitely more comfortable. It's a little bit baggier. Not more flattering than the other. They're both, you know, kind of unflattering, but I think they're really cute and comfy and very Christmassy, you know, great for the holidays, I suppose. But I kind of like the green one a little bit more, even though there's more red in the dress than there is green. There is some cacti going on in the dress, so I think the green works, but what would you rate this outfit on a scale of one to 10? Go ahead and rate it down below. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, I do have one more dress in mind for this video that I have been obsessed with, also thrifted, but we'll get to that in a second. I wanna show you one of the options that I also have been wearing and loving that makes me feel like myself so much and it's not a dress, which is why I love it. Let me show you. I feel like jumpsuits are really popular in pregnancy, but I see them as skin tight jumpsuits. I see them all the time on TikTok, very similar to this, but skin tight all the way to the bottom. So it's like leggings and then like a tight, tight everything. And I personally am struggling a little bit with my body shape. And this jumpsuit definitely highlights it. Where is this from? Oh, it's from River Island. Um, this is part of their maternity collection, their mama collection. I also got this from River Island in that same order. I'm not gonna wear them together, but look at how good that sweater is. Like, come on. There's also like a haul video of all the things that I purchased since being pregnant. Just fashion today, we're just talking about clothes. Anyway, I love this jumpsuit. So comfortable, so like loose and airy, but because of that, it does cling to my new uh, body. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I have struggled a little bit with my hips. My hips specifically have been an insecure point for me and I just feel like I do compare my body a lot to the other pregnant bodies I see on TikTok especially and I don't look like that. I don't look like how they look in pregnancy leggings. Um, I feel like I constantly have to hide my hips and I'll show you in this video. You'll see my hips in this video, especially probably in this. Um, I have really severe hip dips and it only got worse. I don't wanna say worse. This isn't a negative video. <laughs> this is a positive video. We're embracing our pregnant bodies, right? But it definitely became more pronounced that I have hip dips since gaining weight and you know going through pregnancy and everything. That is a point in my body where I put on weight in my lower body. I even have stretch marks on my thighs that were not there before. I haven't had any stretch marks on my belly, but I'm getting them everywhere else. But I wanna embrace my hip dips. I feel like our insecurities are mostly large to us and other people don't notice them as much. So I'm gonna rock the jumpsuit. I'm, I'm not gonna wear, you know, I'm not gonna try to like cover up my hips in this video. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wear them out. You know, rock the hip dips. Now, even with all that said, I did see some inspo photos. I should probably put some inspo photos, here you go, of uh, Pinterest pictures that I've saved that are outfits that I think are really good for either pregnancy or they're literally like pregnant people in these outfits. Um, so I did see a, uh, I think I saw an inspo with a jumpsuit and a really cool cardigan. So I wanna wear something cool over it. Can't wear anything like over it because I don't wanna have to like take off a sweater too much in a public bathroom and undress completely because that's the downside of jumpsuits is you have to completely take it off. So a cardigan's just easier to take on and off versus a sweater, <laughs> does that make sense? However, I will say I did wear this combination in a video. I wore this under this. Let me just say, this is an iconic combo. This is what I'm talking about, wearing the mesh underneath the jumpsuit. But I've already done this outfit, so I don't really wanna recreate it just for the sake of this video. So let's find a cool cardigan for this guy. Now, my instinct is to go to my Ragged Priest collection. I mean, first of all, I did get this <laughs> uh, a sweater because obviously I love puzzling. I bought this and I told Ryan this is my first like mom cardigan. Now this would be really nice to edge up 
but I don't think I'm going to pull this today. It's very much more like springtime for me, um, even though it is like a thicker sweater but how cute is that it was on sale i really love it i think i have to go with my favorite cardigan of all time from ragged priest and go with this black and white one it's just so cute i love this print i know this print is everywhere by now but i really love it so this is pretty simple uh not much going on here as far as fashion and my doc martin chelsea boots have been the most comfortable shoe that i've had lately so I might wear those or some tennis shoes. Converse maybe? I don't know, let's go see. Okay, this outfit, very comfortable. I don't normally show this much skin in uh, my pregnancy. I haven't anyway. Uh, it's not that much obviously, but I normally wear something like under this jumpsuit. So I wanted to experiment and wear something over the jumpsuit. And here we are. This jumpsuit is so great. It is so comfortable and light and airy. I get hot all the time in pregnancy. So I just put my hair up in a little clip uh, just because I felt like I needed something else with this outfit, something to, you know, do, to do something, spruce it up. Cause I feel like it's so basic. I just kept on the same boots from the last outfit, but I feel like this would almost be better dressed down with, hold on, with my Converse. I feel like these would look really cute with this outfit, just a black and white shoe, but I'm not gonna put those on right now. So just imagine it in your mind. I would, but like tying up a whole shoe and like I have to sit down, it's just a lot to change shoes, okay? But I like it with the boots. Um, I feel like this is also something I could wear, not this outfit specifically, but this jumpsuit. It's definitely something I could wear for the holidays with a different sweater on top. I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the video. I can't really see the viewfinder from here, to be honest. Uh, the hip dips. The hips, as I was talking about, I really don't know if you can tell in this outfit, but yeah, this jumpsuit really clings to my new curves. And to me, they're curves that I don't see a lot of other pregnant people rocking. So I do feel a little bit self-conscious when I wear this jumpsuit. I prefer the sweater to be a little bit longer. But yeah, I, I think I should just embrace them. It's my body, you know. When I do this, you can really see the the hip dip and the the weight I've gained in my hips. But you know, I've always had this attitude throughout the entire pregnancy, like whatever my body needs to do, wherever it needs to gain weight, whatever it needs to do, stretch marks included, anything and everything to bring my baby girl into the world, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to be accepting and loving of myself for that. So go ahead and rate this outfit. I have a feeling it's going to be people's least favorite. I don't really know. Does the hair do anything for it? I don't know, lazy hair. I'm not really doing my, my hair that up that much these days either. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the next dress, that's not a dress, hold on. But this thrifted dress has been one of my favorite pieces. So basic, okay? It's just like a silky, midi length dress, but the length of this is so perfect. It did shrink a little bit. Um, I believe it's vintage, I don't know. Um, but yeah, thrifted dress, so comfortable. I wore this in, in LA for a couple outfits because it was just so comfy. So good for layering. Again, you could do a mesh under, you could do a sweater over. I think I'm going to make this dress my like edgier dress. So we're gonna do an all black look. This is gonna be a very simple outfit, but I feel like this is gonna be my favorite one and just such a good go-to. I'm also taking pictures of all these outfits so I remember them in times where I need to put together something really fast. Okay, hands down, this is my favorite outfit in the whole video, I already know. This one I feel the most like myself in, honestly, the most comfortable. And it's a dress, which is so ironic because I don't love dresses, which is why pregnancy has been such a struggle to style around because Dresses obviously fit this the best, uh, as opposed to pants. And even the maternity pants that I bought earlier on in the pregnancy are getting a little bit tight now, so I feel like I'm gonna be so limited to dresses, but like it's about to be in winter, so definitely need more outfits like this that are winter appropriate, at least California winter, of course. Anyway, love it. I just left my hair up in the same uh, updo because I just feel like it works really well with the outfit. Got my Doc Martens on. These have been like my go-to shoes in pregnancy because they are a little bit too big for me anyway. So when my feet swell up from walking or like end of the day, 
uh, they still fit. So anyway, here's the outfit. And then I do like a cute bag. Let me show you the bag I've been wearing lately. So I've been wearing this Bagu bag. It's a, like a crossbody fanny pack style, which I really like. I got my little horror pin on there. I've also been wearing this bag. This is probably the one I would go with, with this outfit. It's a leather fanny pack. Uh, my mom's from the 90s, so it is authentic vintage, and I think it's really cute. Um, again, I would probably wear it crossbody with this outfit. But yeah, I just, I love this outfit. It just is so comfortable. I feel like I look like myself, still rocking the belly, still got those shorts on, don't worry. Okay, what is your rating of this outfit? I think it's a 10 out of 10. I could probably accessorize a little bit better. I could rock a beanie with this, uh, do little space buns in my hair. You know, there are different ways that I could work with this outfit, but I'm obsessed and I love it. I love how airy it is because like I said, I get hot. So the holes in the sweater really make it uh, really comfortable for me. So yeah, this is my favorite one. Hands down, nothing's gonna top it. But let's continue, shall we? I took a little lunch break and my lipstick is now gone. So that's okay. Uh, the next thing I want to try to style. Now these leggings, uh, they're great. They've been great in pregnancy. They are not pregnancy leggings. They are from Airy. And there are these like cross front leggings. They're from the offline. And these are the Real Me Flare High Rise leggings by Airy. I'll try to link them down below. I have these in black as well. And they are flared, which makes them super cute. And one of my favorite ways to wear these pants because these pants highlight my hip dips like no other. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, one way I like to wear these is with an oversized baggy tee. I saw this look on Pinterest and I absolutely love it. Now we could go like grungy. This has some holes in it. This would be really cute. I'll keep that as an option. I really like this one too. Like this really holy one. We could go horror t-shirt, match the orange a little bit. I'm gonna say no to this one. I kind of want to do a grungy look. I'm gonna do grungy with boots and things maybe a leather jacket, so we're gonna say no to that one. I have this Harley Davidson shirt, which would be kinda cute. Okay, out of these shirt options with these pants, which one do we gravitate towards? This one works color-wise, and the length is really good. Um, actually, the color is not really, not really there for me, so I'm gonna say no to that one. Um, I do love this combination. I have worn this as an outfit already. The oversized black and white with some orange pants. I haven't done this one yet, so I think this might be a good option. What do we think? I wish you could give me some live feedback here because I don't know. I think that's going to be the look, this guy. And then I am thinking a leather jacket of some kind. Now I do have like a matrixy one that's like long. I'm not sure about that. That might be a little bit too much. Just your standard leather jacket. Maybe something like that. I could also do like a denim with it as well. So different options for different aesthetics here. I think I'm going to go with the leather, but I'm not sure which one yet. So we will see that in the final outfit reveal. Okay, actually... I really love this outfit and also feel very much like myself. And this is the outfit that really pushes my comfort zone with these pants. These pants, I'm telling you, they're just, they show everything, you know, like every new curve, every little inch of cellulite I've gained, you know what I mean? And they are getting a little bit tight. They have this crossover in the front, which is really comfortable, but now they're starting to like slide down. So I did have a different shirt in mind. Obviously you saw me pull something different. I wasn't a huge fan. It didn't fit oversized anymore. And I wanted something like a little bit more oversized and long. And then I remembered this other shirt that I have that would be perfect, but I don't know where it is. I think it's in the laundry. I don't know. It's not as long as I'd like though. I was thinking a little bit more grungy, like long, you know? Um, also to hide a little bit of my insecurities uh, in these pants. So these pants really highlight the shapes going on. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna rock it. You know what, this is, this is me. This is my body pregnant and I think it's beautiful. But for now, it looks really cool. Again, Doc Martens on the bottom, comfy, beanie, hair tucked into the jacket. Um, yeah, 
But yeah, I like this. I like this outfit, but I do feel like myself in it. And I think that is the most important thing in all of these outfits is to feel really good in it and, you know, be able to express my style through the outfits. And this one definitely does that. So let's move on to the very last outfit. I am still not sure what I'm going to put together with that one. You shall see what is to come, I guess. So let's go. So I think the last thing I want to style are these pants. These have been my favorite maternity pants the whole time. They're the easiest to wear casually, uh, any type of way. They're just so comfortable. They go all the way up over the belly, as you can see. These are from ASOS, and these are in their maternity line. They just like fit, they're really stretchy. They are getting a little bit tight in the waistline up here because of you know, my belly and just ribs growing a lot. They're a flare legging. I don't like the skin tight all the way down to the ground. I do have some like that, but they're just, they're not my favorite. I don't feel great in them, to be honest, and I feel like a flare pant just balances out the uh, my body type at this point in time. So I love to wear cropped shirts with this. Now, again, these with the hip dips, definitely going strong, but I feel like with a cropped shirt, and a sweater over it, I can make these into a really cute fall outfit. Maybe even with some like boots that are different color than black and do something with these. I don't know if these fit still, but we'll try them. I don't know. I also have this. I know, I know what you're thinking. Um, this is from Ragged Priest and I want to crop it. How cute would this be cropped over these pants? Honestly, Do you see the vision? Is this too weird? Is this too weird of a combo? I would definitely do black boots in this case. Maybe I'll cut the shirt. We'll try this outfit on and we'll see how I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I never wear color like this. Never ever wear something like this in my life. So maybe it's a good time to take a risk. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I would absolutely hate this outfit. I thought I was about to come on camera and be like, absolutely not and then change into something better and like surprise you with a new outfit, right? I really thought that. But for someone who doesn't like color, I'm so surprised how much I love <laughs> this color combination. I mean, obviously the black bottoms help, um, but I really like this. Like this is so fun and definitely something that I don't normally wear, but like why not, you know? I obviously cropped the shirt um, just because I like cropped shirts more with these specific uh, maternity leggings because they go super high up, which I love. So I just think it looks cuter with a little bit of a crop, you know, so my belly can be out. Um, but look at how cute this outfit is. Like this, this is not gonna be for everyone, mind you. Did a little space buttons, probably a little too on the nose as far as styling goes with the alien. But I'm, this is so fun. This is, this is a good time. This is a good outfit. And again, oh, she's moving. Oh man, she's really, She's all elbows right now. This is a really comfy outfit too, you know? Like I can roll the sleeves down if I need a little bit more warmth. Um, but just like really for a casual look, this is this is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm having fun in this outfit and I really like it. I'm definitely gonna get a picture in this. This is so cute. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how much I like this. I didn't know what shoes to wear so I wore Doc Martens like my usuals. Um, maybe Converse would be better. I don't know, what do you think? So go ahead and rate this outfit. This is the last one. I think I put together some really cool outfits and I am now more inspired to look deeper into my wardrobe to find more outfits that are fun and flattering and like that I just feel really good in, you know? And I feel really good in all of them. And yeah, I think that's really important to prioritize in pregnancy is to make sure you feel good too and feel confident and like yourself. How many times? Again. Am I going to say that in this video? <laughs> Let me know what your favorite outfit was in this video. And did you enjoy the process of me picking out some outfits? Hopefully this inspires you, even if you're not pregnant, to just go in your wardrobe and like find some fun combinations that you feel really good in. So hopefully it was still inspiring. Let me know if you're pregnant and struggling a little bit <laughs> with body image as well. And, you know, finding outfits and comfy clothes and things like that. But yeah, let me know your favorite outfit. What do you think of this video? I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.